Hello everyone, so good to have you here, welcome back. Today it's such an amazing topic, I think it's my personal favorite, and that is how to create amazing wide electronic EDM house synth sounds. And I've prepared some of my best secrets, my best tips, so make sure to check this out. Let's go! In my opinion, there is mainly two important things how to create amazing synth sounds. The first one is the sound. I used to find a sound that really gets my attention. And the second tip is voicing. It's important which chords, what kind of notes, what kind of notes in the highs, the lows, and based on the genre that I want to create the synths for. And today we will use my absolute favorite synth plugin out there. This is kind of sample based synth and that is the well known Nexus. And recently Nexus released their third version. We have been working with the second one for a couple of years and now it was time for a new update. And that's the interface behind me. Such an amazing tool, the way you can sort sounds, the way you can just start to be creative. You can just go for a specific genre, you can download different expansion packs based on genre, and you can really find the perfect sound easily in such an amazing and fast way. So I think that Nexus 3 is well worth to check out. So usually I go for this kind of setup. I'm going for three different sounds and I'm layering these sounds on top of each other. So I start with the main sound and that is the main sound that the listener will hear. And that is the main sound that will give the character to the song and so on. And as a complement to this sound, I'm also adding a sound that gives more bass to the sound. So maybe the lead part is more kind of mid-range, high-end sound. And then I usually go for a more low-frequency sound. And sometimes I actually drop the whole chord progression one octave down. So I have the main sound and underneath I have this kind of more bass filled track. And usually it's the same chord progression, but sometimes, as I said, I'm pitching down an octave for this synth track. And that really gives you opportunity to play and find the right balance between the main sound and this bass sound. And the third sound is really an effect track. Uh, there is so much reverb, this, there is so much delays, and sometimes it's too much. And you can really use this synth track in a creative way in different parts. For example, you can add this in the last chorus, in the first chorus, in the drops, in the build-ups. You can use this effect synth track and turn it on and off throughout the song. And at the final step, I used to add a sidechain effect as well. Either I go for waves, one pumper, and otherwise I will go for Nick Romero, this Kickstarter plugin. Okay, so friends, that was everything for today. I really hope that you learned something new and hopefully you got inspired to try this kind of tips in your own productions, doing amazing synth parts, amazing synth hooks, and hopefully we see each other in the next video. Bye.